Uh, is that Katie? Yes, sir. Oh, Katie, it's Pete Lamas, I believe, you've been trying to, uh, <coughs> trying to find oh, me. Hello there. Hello. Um, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah, all right. Hello. Hello. Who am I speaking to? Eric. All right. Did you want to see me about something? Just give you an update. I don't know if you'd uh, be giving a full explanation not about yesterday. Uh, carry on. As regards the criminal damage. Oh, no, I've, well, yeah, it was a big lie. And I've been, yeah, vindicated. Now, basically what happened was that we have, uh, me and Mark and Paul and that, asked for the case to be dropped. Right. Because we had, I mean, it was a few days after you'd been arrested, uh, I saw the CCTV mm -hmm. and said to me, this is what he's done. And I said, well, if that's all that he's done, then the alleged damage that he's supposed to have caused can't have happened. Right. And then we did a bit of other digging and we had some video footage to show that the damage was already there the previous day. All right. So, so we pushed it and pushed it with the investigating officers to get the case dropped and really that's why we were there in court yesterday to make sure they didn't go ahead with the criminal damage. Oh, so did you speak to the CPS? Well, I personally did, but the uh, officer from COID did mm. uh, to make sure that the case didn't go ahead, to make sure that they'd been given a message that it shouldn't be going ahead because we could show evidence to say that the damage that you're supposed to have caused was that been there the day previously. Oh, well, thank you very much for that. And I'd actually been pushing for the past week mm. for your bail conditions to be dropped. Right, okay. Because uh, as far as I could see, the bail conditions related to the criminal damage uh, had not been at the site, and as far as I can tell, as far as I was aware, they should no longer apply, but I don't think mm. we should ever get through to anybody. But well, thank you very much for that. It was, uh, it was uh, because of what me, Mark and Pete and Paul had done up here in this office, Mm. Uh, we insisted that the uh, the case for the criminal damage should be dropped. Ah, thank you. Uh, well, you so, um, you 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 were aware of the violence of the arrest that night too. Yeah, well, there's actually nothing wrong with the arrest in so much that when the officer, the sergeant, was up there at the time, was the damage was put, reported, saying that you'd caused some damage. She was shown some damage. Clearly, she wouldn't have known at the time that that was all damage. She, the guy said, that's the damage has been caused. She looked at, yeah, that damage has been caused. Mm. So there's a legitimate reason for the rest. There's no problem with that at all. Yeah. Who's she that you're referring to? She was the sergeant who was up there at the time. Oh, the lady with the black hair. Yes. Mm. All right. Um, so there's no, there's no problem for the actual arrest. Mm. But subsequent to that, obviously, we've... Uh, I looked at the CCTV and it's, it wasn't damage that you've got. Is this the CCTV that couldn't be shown to me when I was interviewed? I, no idea, mate. Because I've mm. I I seen this probably about four or five days after you were arrested. Mm. But should you have been informed? Because of that, obviously that night when I was arrested, it, obviously there was no warrant or anything. It was all done on hearsay. Um, should... Um, should there have been an evidence gatherer, at least a PLO there present. There's, well, one, we don't need a warrant to arrest anybody. If, if she's gone up there and the security have said that this, that person there has caused this damage and we've witnessed them doing it, as long as we have reasonable suspicion that you've caused the damage, we can arrest people. Mm. Even, in, even, in the, even in the way it was done? Yeah, we can use reasonable force to arrest people. And what about um? Told, what, I wasn't there, but yeah. What about um? Yeah. What about people trying to stop you being arrested? Yeah. What about extreme force? Well, I think you'll find it being classed as reasonable force in the circumstances. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, we'll have to see about. We'll have to agree to disagree about that one, Eric. Actually. Yeah. All right then. But see, I mean, I I wasn't there. I didn't see the arrest, so. Mm. Yeah. You will. Yeah. You 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 will see it. Um, because uh, yeah, well you will anyway. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure the police know. Uh, well, they will do. Anyway. So yeah, well, thanks for thanks for doing that for me. Appreciate that. Um, so I will be um, carrying on as usual. Well, as I say, I've I've always been there uh, to facilitate peaceful protests. Oh, Eric, let's not go down that line again. <laughs> I've always said that if I see things that there's something that I think is wrong then I will say something about it, as I have done in this case. 